Hi, it's Patrick Cranston of Cranston IT here with your Bionic Business Vlog. It's my passion to help you use technology to make your business faster, stronger, better. Today we're taking a look at the Apple Business Manager. ABM is a new system from Apple to help businesses manage their Apple hardware and software purchases. To understand Apple Business Manager and why a business should use it, you first have to understand Apple's philosophy to device ownership. Any device that is an Apple computing device, such as an iPhone, an iPad, or Mac, Apple's default position is that that device is owned by the person using it. For privacy reasons, this grants a certain level of security and privacy to the user of the device and limits what types of remote controls can be placed on the device. In today's connected world, this is a good thing and greatly enhances the security for the user. From a business IT perspective, this creates a problem because the device is not owned by the individual in this case, but by the company. Since the device is owned by the company, the business needs to be able to control and protect the device. So to solve this problem, Apple's created the Apple Business Manager. This web-based service allows a business to register devices as owned by the business. Once ownership of the device has been verified by Apple and assigned to the business, Apple grants a higher level of control over the device since the device is since the business is the owner and not the user now once the device is enrolled in abm the company now has additional management options for one it can force enrollment of a device in the, of a device in the device management solution when a user sets up a device they can only use the device if it's properly enrolled and being managed by software from the company this is maintained even if the device is wiped or restored. After a wipe or restore, the device is automatically re-enrolled in device management. This ensures that company devices are always used in an appropriate manner. And if a device is lost or stolen, it can be wiped effectively and then made unusable by anyone that is not part of the company. Devices can now also be de directly deployed to users right out of the box with no direct involvement by IT. Users simply receive their new devices and on first boot, they're automatically walked through the registration props process to enroll them in management and then the devices are auto configured for the user's needs. You can also now easily transfer a device from one user to another. You simply restore the device back to factory settings and when the new user logs in, it's configured to match their profile. Apps and books purchased from the Apple Store can be remotely installed without the needs for the user's Apple ID to be entered. In this scenario, the company purchases apps from either the iOS or Mac App Store and pays for licensing as needed. They then can assign these apps to appropriate users and the apps are automatically installed on that, those users' devices. Finally, you now have a higher level of restrictions such as disabling certain apps, preventing changes to device settings, or even skipping the setup screens that are now available once the device is managed through Apple Business Manager. Now Apple Business Manager is only part of the solution to fully supervise Apple devices. The core function of ABM is to assign ownership of the devices to the company. Then, to implement supervised management of devices, you need to use a device management solution or an MDM. There are many different companies that offer device management solutions for Apple products. And while ABM is a free service from Apple, device management is typically a paid service from a third party provider. The final piece of the puzzle is enrolling in Apple's volume purchase program. This free service from Apple allows companies to purchase apps from the app stores and then assign those apps to the users. There are two big advantages to using VPP. One, the company can purchase and assign apps remotely using device management. And secondly, licenses can be reclaimed and reused to other users. So if one user leaves the company, the business can reclaim those licenses and then reuse them for a new user. Any company deploying five or more devices should take advantage of the Apple Business Manager and VPP programs and should invest in a device management solution. It's Apple's way of managing devices and it helps protect your investments in both hardware and software 
and allows for remote configuration, management, and monitoring of your company's devices. If you need help implementing Apple's management tools, I recommend using the Apple Consultants Network to find an Apple certified consultant to help. Just Google Apple Consultants Network and find an Apple consultant in your area. If you found my information helpful, please like and share this post. If you have feedback or a business IT question that you would like answered, please post a comment or send an email to ask at cranstonit.com and I'll try to answer it in a future video.